Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a brief introduction into input and output redirection and we're also going to introduce concepts like sorting and searching algorithms. And now let's start with input redirection. As you can see, I have a fairly simple program over here and all it's doing is we're constantly reading values uh, from scan f and if they're valid, we will print out the square of that value and we will read the next value. But if it's invalid, we will just stop the program. So let's run this code just to see what it does. And as you can see, I can just enter values and it enters the square of that value. And if I enter something that's invalid, we just exit the program. So we'll use this to demonstrate input redirection. We can actually get our input from other sources other than the terminal. So I don't have to enter these values in manually. I can actually enter them from something like a file. So if we look over here, I have this file called in.txt and I have a bunch of values that I want to test out with my program. To get these contents from our in.txt file and put them in our program, we have to use something called input redirection. To use input redirection, we first need to compile our code. And then when we run our code, we use this less than symbol. And what this is telling our terminal is that we're going to get our input from somewhere else and not the terminal. So in the right of this less than symbol, we specify where we want the data to be coming from. I want it to come from in.txt. And as you can see, I've just separated the values um, by line. So when I run this program, you can see that all of the values in our file got squared and it's even helped us find an error. And this is because we want to square all values. But in here, when we get to this fractional number, it breaks down because it doesn't recognize the 0.3 part. So it just squares the whole number part. And actually we could go in and fix this by making this a float and make it so that we're reading floats. But now we know how to use input redirection. And what it's doing is it's just taking all the contents of these file and entering into our program as if we were to just type all of this into our terminal. And now let's go into output redirection. So what if we want to run this program, but instead of having the output printed out to the terminal, what if we want it to be printed out to a file? So right now, if I'm running this program, I can enter values like two and it just tells me the result on the terminal. But what if I don't want that? What if I want this to go to a file? I can run my program like this. And instead of doing a less than symbol, we use a greater than symbol. And then we specify where we want the output to go. We want the output to go into another file and we can just specify any file name we want. So I'll call it output.txt. And let me open this up just to uh, allow you to see that we don't have an output.txt file. But if I run it through output re redirection, it'll actually create it. And right now, if we open it, it's empty because we haven't finished running our program yet. So let's put in some numbers. And as you can see, all of the output, everything that would print out, gets sent to this file. So this is how we redirect our output to another source. And actually, we can combine these two. We can combine input redirection and output redirection so we can get input from this in.txt file and output it to this output.txt file. And we do this like so. We run our program and then we use input redirection and then we put a space and put our greater than symbol and specify the output file. But as you can see, this doesn't look very clean or clear. So like most operators that we've used in C, we can clarify what we want to do by using braces or brackets. So let's put in this round brackets. So when we do this, our intent is a lot clearer. We get our input from in.txt, we run the program, and then we output it to a file. And as you can see, our values have changed because now we're squaring all the values from in.txt. And if you notice, once we run output redirection on an existing file, 
it'll just wipe the contents of the existing file and then add in the new values. So if I do output redirection again, you can see first it wipes all the contents from the file and then I could put something like 4, 2, and p and it adds in the new content. So this is how input and output redirection works in C.